The law of one, widely recognized as the raw material, emerges as a remarkable channeled text that offers an intricate tapestry of spiritual insights. At its core, it comprises a 106 question and answer dialogue, a unique and intriguing interaction that transpired between a group of dedicated UFO researchers and an enigmatic entity known as Ra. This encounter was far from conventional, for it ventured beyond the realms of extraterrestrial technology into the profound domains of philosophy and spirituality. The researchers embarked on this cosmic inquiry not with the intent to uncover advanced technological secrets, as one might expect from those engaged in the study of unidentified flying objects. Instead, their aim was to fathom the profound wisdom and spirituality embodied by the enigmatic beings they sought to understand. In a world often preoccupied with the material and the tangible, these individuals chose a path less travelled, one that sought to delve into the metaphysical and the ineffable. The Law of One provides a captivating framework for comprehending the evolution of consciousness through the lens of seven densities. Each density represents a distinct stage in the progression of consciousness, serving as a roadmap to understanding the complex journey towards unity with the Creator. First density, pure existence. The journey begins with pure existence, where beings are akin to combinations of elemental forces earth, space, air, fire, and water. This is the realm of fundamental building blocks. Second density, growth and movement. Progressing into the second density, consciousness evolves to embrace growth and movement. Here, entities have the capacity to interact with their environment and move about, mirroring the characteristics of creatures like pets. Third density, self-awareness. The third density marks a significant shift as self-awareness emerges. This stage is characterized by the development of individual identities, thoughts encompassing both past and future, and the advent of fears. Consciousness begins to express itself through light, with denser light offering greater scope for the expression of consciousness. Fourth density, love and unity. The fourth density is often associated with the domain of love and unity. It is within this density that consciousness begins to congregate, and evolution occurs more rapidly when entities work together harmoniously. This density corresponds to the heart chakra, and its exploration is central to achieving higher states of consciousness. Fifth and Sixth Densities The journey continues with the fifth and sixth densities, each intricately linked to specific chakras and rays. The fifth density corresponds to the throat chakra, and the blue ray, while the sixth density aligns with the third eye chakra and the indigo ray. Importantly, these densities are not discrete, they intermingle and overlap as consciousness progresses. Seventh density, the gateway to unity, the culmination of this spiritual odyssey is the seventh density, where beings stand at the threshold of unity with the Creator, they exist in a state of profound connection embodying the highest aspects of consciousness evolution. The Law of One highlights the fluidity of this progression, emphasizing that these densities are not separate islands, but rather facets of the same evolving consciousness. Humanity moves through these densities as it advances toward unity consciousness, weaving a complex tapestry of experience and evolution. Within the profound philosophy of the Law of One, the universe is not merely a vast expanse of stars, planets and galaxies. It takes on a far more intricate and meaningful role. The universe is portrayed as a cosmic laboratory, a crucible of experiences designed to help the One Infinite Creator gain a deeper understanding of Himself. This notion fundamentally reshapes our understanding of the universe imbuing it with purpose and intention. In this paradigm, every facet of the universe, from the grandest celestial bodies to the minutest particles, serves as an essential ingredient in the Creator's experiment. Each sentient being, from the most advanced civilizations to the humblest life forms, plays a unique role in the unfolding narrative. Across countless dimensions, the Creator uses the universe itself 
to paint his portrait of his own nature. This perspective invites contemplation of the creator's insatiable curiosity and boundless desire to explore the infinite possibilities of its own being. It evokes the image of a scientist engrossed in a laboratory, meticulously conducting experiments, with each outcome yielding fresh insights into the nature of existence. The universe, in this view, becomes a testament to the Creator's ceaseless pursuit of self-discovery through the dynamic interplay of matter, energy, and consciousness. Within the philosophical framework of the Law of One, the existence of suffering emerges as a multifaceted enigma, inviting profound contemplation and reflection. In the Law of One philosophy, suffering is approached with diverse interpretations. One such perspective draws parallels to the Hindu concept of Leela, which views the universe as a joyful expression of the One Infinite Creator. From this vantage point, suffering is not perceived as an isolated and senseless experience, but rather as an integral part of the broader tapestry of existence. In this way, the Creator explores infinite possibilities, contributing to the rich diversity of the universe. Another perspective posits that suffering is an intrinsic component of a universe striving to express infinite potentialities. It contends that true diversity can only manifest when all aspects of existence, including suffering, are given the opportunity to be expressed. In this context, suffering is not a flaw or a deviation from a harmonious universe, but a necessary element in the grand symphony of creation. It is through the interplay of suffering and joy that the universe explores the full spectrum of experiences. The law of one, in its exploration of suffering, extends an invitation to contemplate the profound nature of existence. Individuals are encouraged to view suffering as an integral part of the universal journey rather than simply as adversity. Within this enigmatic perspective, suffering takes on a deeper significance, inviting us to ponder the intricate interplay of light and shadow, joy and sorrow, and growth and challenges as essential elements in the ongoing exploration of the one infinite creator. The concept of third density, our current state of existence, is fundamental to the law of one's exploration of suffering. This density is characterized by the experience of suffering and the veil of forgetting, which serves to protect free will and individual autonomy. The veil of forgetting ensures that individuals have an authentic choice regarding whether to live based on love and unity or separation. It creates an environment where souls can explore the depths of their existence, wrestle with challenges, and ultimately make genuine choices that contribute to their spiritual growth. One of the most important concepts in the law of one's perspective is the concept of the veil of forgetting. Individuals enter their earthly existence with a clean slate, free of the memories of their past lives by wearing this veil. In this way, free will and the authenticity of choice are protected, allowing each soul to make decisions without being influenced by the experiences of the past. The veil creates a profound sense of separation from one's true spiritual essence, prompting individuals to embark on a journey of self-discovery and self-realization. The philosophy of the Law of One introduces the concept of spiritual balancing as an integral aspect of the human experience. This concept revolves around the awareness of imbalances within the energy centers known as chakras. Each of the seven chakras is attributed to specific aspects of human existence, from survival and sexuality in the root chakra to the connection with the divine source in the crown chakra. Becoming attuned to these imbalances and addressing them with love, forgiveness, and awareness is seen as essential for personal growth and spiritual evolution. Free will is presented as a fundamental aspect of existence within the law of one. Being capable of making choices within a set of parameters is a divine gift that grants autonomy and allows us to shape our lives. This perspective likens human existence to that of an algorithm with individuals navigating their lives by making choices that align with their intentions and desires. 
Karma, on the other hand, is portrayed as a mechanism within the universal algorithm meant to ensure that individuals experience the consequences of their choices. As a correction device, it ensures the balance of the universe and facilitates the learning and growth of sentient beings. Karma is not presented as a punitive force, but rather as a natural and impartial process through which individuals receive feedback about the alignment of their choices with their spiritual path. Within the Law of One philosophy, the interplay of free will and karma is a complex and intricate dance. It is through free will that individuals make choices, shaping their experiences and spiritual evolution. These choices, in turn, lead to karmic consequences, providing opportunities for learning and growth. The philosophy encourages individuals to recognize the significance of their choices, understanding that each decision carries the potential to steer their spiritual journey either towards positive or negative polarization. The Kundalini awakening is a phenomenon deeply intertwined with the spiritual concepts outlined in the Law of One. This neurobiological process unfolds within the human nervous system, but its occurrence is not random. Rather, it is the result of a particular level of spiritual commitment and effort. It's a journey towards higher consciousness, and while it offers the potential for profound transformation and enlightenment, it's not to be taken lightly, as improper handling can lead to challenges and difficulties. In the law of one, Kundalini awakening is viewed as a gateway to understanding the universe's inherent unity and the individual's role within it. This awakening has a rich history, having manifested in humans for thousands of years. In essence, it represents a transformation of neurobiology to a higher frequency level, marking a significant shift in an individual's consciousness. The Kundalini energy often depicted as a coiled serpent at the base of the spine, lies dormant until awakened. When awakened, it ascends through the body, moving from the base of the spine toward the brain and down into the gut. This journey is not merely physical, but also metaphysical, symbolizing the ascension of consciousness from the lower chakras to the higher ones. The energy released during a Kundalini awakening is immensely potent, at least five times more powerful than our current third density energy. As such, it necessitates careful preparation and readiness. Meditation is highlighted as a fundamental practice for individuals seeking to prepare their nervous systems to handle this intensified energy. Drawing parallels with the law of one, this awakening is likened to the necessity of preparation when channeling the energy of a higher density being. Just as one must be ready to receive a master's energy in channeling, individuals embarking on the Kundalini journey must be adequately prepared to handle this transformative energy flow. The Kundalini awakening process, while often portrayed as a personal experience, is interconnected with the broader concepts of unity and oneness expounded in the Law of One. It serves as a tangible manifestation of the individual's connection to the greater cosmic consciousness, symbolizing the potential for human beings to transcend their limitations and ascend to higher states of existence. Observing the patterns in one's own life and the world around them is encouraged by the law of one philosophy. These patterns often reveal themselves as synchronicities, coincidences and repetitions that transcend individual belief systems and perspectives. By acknowledging and contemplating these patterns, individuals gain access to a deeper understanding of the underlying unity and coherence within the universe. A sense of interconnectedness and shared experience is fostered through this recognition, which transcends limited viewpoints. In this way, the observation of patterns becomes a tool for expanding awareness and uncovering hidden truths about the nature of existence. Truth and purpose are central themes within the Law of One philosophy. It emphasizes the importance of remaining open to various possibilities of truth, rather than rigidly adhering to one's preconceived beliefs. The philosophy contends that human assumptions about reality are often flawed, 
and spirituality involves a continuous process of correcting these misconceptions. By approaching reality with humility and a willingness to adapt, individuals can gradually align their understanding with higher truths. Ultimately, the law of one suggests that living a good life is synonymous with living a loving life, and that the ultimate purpose of existence is to know oneself and the one infinite creator. Through this perspective, individuals are encouraged to embark on an inner journey of self-discovery and transformation, recognizing that the pursuit of truth and purpose is an ongoing, ever-evolving pursuit that transcends rigid ideas and limited perceptions.